Best of that fucking opening before you set this fucking video on for a petition, man. Yeah. All I ever wanted to do was do right things. Never wanted to be the king. Well, I swear. I ever wanted to do was save your life. All I wanted to grab a knife. I swear. Yes, do this, better, better. Now tell me what if I miss? So one of them in a team miss. If I lose it all, slip it and fall, I will never look away. If I lose it all, lose it all, lose it all. If I lose it all, I set the walls and die another day. I want anything to see you. Beware. <laughs> All I ever wanted to do was know what's out there. I used to use me on the final. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Best of young and not in the sand. I can't stand the right in a tank. Oh, yeah. Did you say that? Oh, yeah. What do I have to be? Where? Nobody knows what's inside of me. Nobody knows what's inside of me. Nobody knows what's inside of me. If I lose it all, slip and fall, I'm laugh at me. If I lose it all, lose it all. If I lose it all, slip and fall, I will never look away. If I lose it all, lose it all. Lose it all. If I lose it all, I'll sign on walls to die another day. I don't want anything, just you down. Big word. Going for you. Ah, my friends, that was a deep cover done by the rumbling. With the help of uh, artists known as Fuki Mikuchi. Hey, there he is. Yeah, I know. My name is weird. <laughs> it's a funny name, but that's not part about that. She's a YouTube fan of mine, but yeah, don't worry about it. I know. I haven't been on one of the in a minute, but I know him. But. Yeah, come on in, man. We got wine. We got a cool burger. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, All right, my friends. Oh, my God. I killed my chest. They killed my chest. Doing a deep cover for the whole song. Oh, God. They killed my chest. They killed my chest. A 40 year old man should not be doing that. Jesus Christ. But, yeah. It's time, but you know what? A 49ers prediction. Now, Anagoji told me to do this because he he said that, well, still a little bit butthurt what happened with the 49ers in Super Bowl, but he does he got over it. He just wanted to, nah, I'm just kidding. He just wants me to do it. <laughs> I just like teasing him about that. What? 
Okay, okay, I'll start teasing you. I'll start teasing you, my friend. Jesus. Anyway, what I'm here to talk about is a, is a good, good message. And what we're talking about today is the 49ers petition for the season. First, we're going to go over the lineup, and then we go over schedule on what I think is going to happen in each game. I'm not going to give a score or anything. I'm just going to tell you what's going to happen in each game. Like, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to give you a score or what it's going to be because I because that's unpredictable. It's like months away. Anything can happen in months. Like, I don't really believe in like betting on these scores in games. You should just bet on who's going to win. You don't have to bet on the score. It's like, come on. Bet on who's going to win, not bet on the score. But come on. You really got to do that. Just bet on who's going to win, not the score. That's so dumb. Don't ever, when you're playing football, when you're betting on football, don't ever bet on the score. Bet on the player or whichever team's going to win. You don't have to bet on the score. Just bet on whatever team's going to win. I don't know. That's just me. I just do that with a couple. I just do that with a couple because of friends at work. Well, that's should just buy him Taco Bell or Popeyes up by team loses or wins. Yeah, that's basically what I do. But this is what we're talking about. Now, I got the 49ers.com pulled up. I got the site pulled up so we can look up the lineup. Let's look it up together, my friends, and take a look at this lineup. Because Anna surprised me with this lineup. He showed me it today, and yeah, if you went away today because my chopper broke down, it broke down, so I'm stuck here for the next week. Yeah. Wow, my friends, I'm stuck here. My friends, my friends, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here, my friends. Ah, my friends, I'm stuck here. <sighs> ah. Here we go. This is the 49ers lineup. And let's take a good look at this score, this lineup. Now, most of the lineup made basically the same, no mind details. Like... Like I know predicted, how he predicted the lineup would be mostly the same. Keep the same guys. Just replace a couple people, like Isaac. Maybe they got some. Well, I think Isaac's the same person. I don't know why he's not wearing his shirt on. His jersey on there, but now. Like they kept them. They kept Brandon Allen. They kept everybody from the team. They've only trained a couple people out. Being the people they traded out was shaking out. On. I think that guy's uh, probably gonna have to get pulled the Google site, check to see which ones this players are. Like I said, me and I not only watch 49ers. Here we go. This will probably give you a better look at the lineup. Uh, we still got the same quarterback. Brandon Ayuk. Not, not, wait, did I just say quarterback for Brandon Ayuk? Brandon Ayuk uses a freaking linebacker. What am I doing? Uh, I should say it right there. My bad. And then we got him in their jerseys. Oh, they might trade out Brandon. 
Isaac for somebody else. This is that first point. You know, they're just keeping them. Always on injury report or something. But yeah, they got Brett and Ayuk, Isaac, Brandon Allen, Evan Anderson, Aaron Banks, Asper. Like, they basically kept the whole same lineup. Nick Bosa, everybody. They kept everybody just placing few people here and there. Like, I know, but they did. And I, but they did. Got you, I was the one who told him how, but they did. <laughs> but, yeah. Jackie Brown. Uh, I believe Jackie Brown is from where? Fuck is that motherfucker? Sure, let me say it right there. Shaki Brown from Troy? From Virginia? Okay, I'll take it. You got someone from Crimson? Yeah, that guy's gonna help us on def On defense linebacker, yeah. Someone from Crimson, yeah. Texas. Oh, hell yeah. Spencer from Texas. Anybody, I kid you not, anybody from Texas knows how to play. Anybody. And then we got uh, some guy from Green Bay, Beavis Cabell. Then we got Malik Collins. I believe it's up here somewhere. Like, this whole lineup is a really good lineup. Like, this lineup, most of the games, like, pretty much last season, I know many people say that they won their games on offense. My friend, it wasn't offense that made them win the games. It wasn't the offense. It was that fucking defense. That fucking defense on the 49ers team it is what won them no games. Because if that fucking defense, no team could fucking score. No team could fucking score. I kid you not, everybody on that fucking defense was on everybody's ass. Now, yeah, they may have lost the Super Bowl, but... I ain't worried. We still got Brock Purdy. Fucking that year. We might get Nets here. Nets here might be our last shot for like a while before we make it to another Super Bowl. Because if we don't get it with Brock Purdy, we won't get it for like another while. Because Brock Purdy, I ain't gonna lie. I see potential. Watching him play last season, he saw some real potential. He's basically like a young Tom Brady. Like when Tom what I mean by that is that people hated Tom Brady when he first started. And yeah. People hate him. He's like a young Tom Brady. That's what he is. Like, think about it. He's just a young Tom Brady in his rookie years. His slide up just started. Yeah. But this is the entire line. We got somebody for the Vikings. Well, Tennessee, somebody from Missouri, yeah, Missouri. Some from Miami. Arkansas, Arizona Cardinals. I don't know why we got somebody from the Cardinals. Georgia, hell yeah. Penn State, fuck yeah. Purdue, yeah. Like all these people we got from Arkansas, Penn State. Lewisville, all these, all these are offenses and defenses. Man from Penn State and Minnesota. Man, even South Carolina. You know, South Carolina is kind of iffy, but yeah. And then 
we kept the same with Eric and Taylor. Well, I think Eric's a new guy. I can't remember. But he's on PA. Then we got someone who's also on UAB. Southern California, a funga. We still got that guy. And we still got many, many people. Like, look at this fucking lineup. We got so many guys. And every one of these motherfuckers are on defense, or wide receivers, or offense. Like, come on, running. Yeah. Yeah, but the fuck, if you just look at that fucking lineup, I kid you not, that fucking lineup shows you everything. Just by looking at that lineup, yeah, just look at that fucking lineup. Come on. You really think we're not going to an NS- Anybody who thinks we're not going to an NS- Super Bowl next year is crazy. Like, I ain't worried. We got, like, one more year. One more year with Brock Purdy. And, to be honest, if Brock Purdy wins the Super Bowl, this not Super Bowl, I kid you not, we might have him. We might have sent his contract. Like, four hours might pay him, like, a lot of money to send his chunks out. Whatever money he wants. They will do it. I guarantee you, if Brock Purdy wins the Super Bowl, they will stand Bob Purdy's contract. Whatever deal Bob Purdy decides, whatever deal, whatever amount of money Bob Purdy wants to give to the 49ers, he will give to the 49ers, will take Bob Purdy. Only if they win, only if Bob Purdy wins the Super Bowl or makes it to the Super Bowl. He can't win, not a championship game, just Super Bowl. Because if they win a Super Bowl, they're going to send Bob Putty's contract. If not, Bob Putty's out of here. He is out. And, yeah. But yeah, they're going to send Brock Purdy's contract. I kid you not. They were sending that contract. Like, come on. If Brock Purdy wins in a Super Bowl, I kid you not. They are sending that contract. They are sending that contract. And, and before you say, well, they're not going to win in a Super Bowl. They're going to have four games. Well, my friend, you're dead wrong about that. You're dead wrong. Because just look at this fucking schedule. Look at this motherfucking schedule. These are, I'll tell you what teams we got to worry about. Sorry, I'm suffering through allergies right now. I think I got some pollen in my nose. Well, here's the schedule. Week preseason, week one, test the Titans. Don't really care about these three games. We're probably going to lose two of them anyway. We'll probably lose against Titans and the Raiders. Don't really care about these games. Well, we'll probably lose to the Titans and win against Saints and Raiders. <laughs> yeah. But these are the games I'm looking at. Now we saw off the New York Jets. Easy win. Easy win. Easy fucking win. Now it is gonna be hard because we're in the West Coast. 
and what not the West Coast. I mean, we're in the East Coast, and every time we play on the East Coast, it's a win and miss. And this is the North, so unless a bunch of 49ers fans decide to go over to the New York Jets, it's gonna be a tough game. It's gonna be a real, real tough game. But here's something else: Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, that's week two. Now, let's do that. Yeah, these first... Oh, wait. The Jets were at home stadium, so we're going to win that game. But the Vikings, we might have a chance if 49 fans decide to go to Minnesota. But it's kind of iffy. I, mean, I don't know, because Minnesota does have a good stadium. And there are a lot of Minnesota fans in Minnesota. So, not sure about that one. Like, the crowd will probably make Minnesota win the game. Like, it won't even be the team that will make them win the game. It will be that fucking crowd. That is what makes Minnesota win this game. So, just like us. Just like the 49ers stadium. If you like the 49ers stadium, the crowd will make them win the game. And Rams, <laughs> Rams, I got a co-worker. I used to have a co-worker that worked with me. But, yeah. Los Angeles, Rams. Yeah. Sorry, Los Angeles. It looks like you're going to lose another one. New England Patriots, easy win. Like, come on. Not even worth it. Like, really? All these games right here, Seahawks, Cardinals, Kansas City, these three games right here, these four games we're going to win. Four straight games in a row we're going to win. Viking, if we beat the Vikings, we might have a set a sets winning streak. But we might lose that winning streak with Kansas City Chiefs. But we are playing in our own stadium. So that, that might help. That might help us a little bit because we're playing our own stadium and we're the home team, so that might give us home field advantage. Dallas Cowboys also got a home field advantage. We're going to win that game. The Bucks, and they want a bye week on week nine. And the Bucks, we come back in week 10 against the Bucks. To be honest, because we went on a bye week, we're probably going to win that game. We're probably going to win all these games right here because they're going to be playing out all these games. It's smart them if they went on bye week the last, like, during week nine to get ready for these last seven games. Or well, last eight games because they're going to need it. Because we go, because we go against. It's not the Seahawks we gotta worry about or the Bucks. It's pretty much all these team, all these away games that we gotta worry about. Oh, because Green Bay is gonna want some revenge, and the Bills we might win against because let's be honest, Bills are maybe they're a good team, but they're an easy good team to lose to, to win against. And Bears, the Bears, like, yeah. But look at this lineup, uh, fan. We're gonna win. It's a real good lineup. Like, this whole lineup is really good. It's gonna help the season. Like the Titans, I kid you not, we're gonna be on. Week one, Tennessee Titans. Yeah, that might. Oh, wait, that's preseason. The only game we're probably going to lose is preseason is Titans. That's the only game we're probably going to lose. The West will probably win. Well, we'll probably win this against. Nah, we'll probably win against Vegas. But all these. But these first six games. If we beat, to be honest, if we win these first eight games, all we got to do 
the first two games, the three games I'm worried about before the bye week are the Vikings, Cowboys, and Chiefs. Because those are the games I'm worried about. But Cowboys, not so much because we are playing in home field. Same with the Kansas City Chiefs. We are all playing home field, so that might give us home field advantage. Uh, Bucks, we're going to win. Yeah, Bucks aren't really that good of a team. Yeah, they made it to the playoffs, but they made it to the playoffs in default because there weren't really that many good teams in this year on the NFC side. There were good teams on the AFC side, but not the NFC side this year. Seahawks going down. Green Bay Packers. Sorry, Green Bay. Like, that whole week nine, they took a smart thing. They did a smart deal taking week nine as a bye week during the middle of the season. Because, yeah. They, what they're going to do during that bye week in the middle of the season is prepare for all these eight games. They did the same thing last year and hold up. That's what they're going to do. They're going to study all these teams. All eight, they're going to plan out the games during that bye week. That's what they did last year. I kid you not. They plan out those games throughout the eight weeks. They took a bye week during half, half the year. Half the season. Which is smart because if you take a bye week during the half the year, you have plenty of time to print out these games. Like to print out these last games. Like, come on. To print out all eight of these games, like, a week is enough time to print out all these games right here. And you don't play until Sunday, and this game's on the 27th. So you got two weeks to plan on this game, on these game, on these eight games right here, and you can do it. Like that's probably what they're thinking during that bye week, and I'm pretty sure they're not even worried about those first eight games. The only teams they're worried about is the only six teams that they're worried about is. Vikings, Chiefs, Cowboys, Dolphins, Detroit. Well, five teams. Bills, eh, eh, not so much. Bills, eh, not so much. Because let's be honest, 49ers will probably go all the way to Buffalo. To win the two G on for the team. But Bills are maybe. I give Bills a maybe, but all these other teams, yeah, we're gonna win against. The seven teams that I'm worried about. The only teams I'm worried about are Miami Dolphins, Lions. Cowboys, Chiefs, and Vikings. Those are the only teams I'm worried about. Because those are some really good teams are going up against. Buffaloes is a maybe. That's a maybe team I'm worried about in week 13. But all those teams I'm worried about, they got plenty of time to think it out. Like three of those teams that I'm worried about, they got plenty of time. To Think it out. And like when's the first game they start on? It's on a Thursday, right? Not Monday. And yeah. Like these couple games, they're gonna think it out. Kid you not they're gonna be practicing on that soccer on that football stadium. Thinking these games out. And with that defense and that lineup that they had, yeah, I know many people think that 20, 2023, the 2024 season and the playoff season, many people thought that the 
49ers, if they didn't win this season, they ain't going to make it again. But I don't know. They had Brock Purdy. And Brock Purdy, last, like especially last season, he showed some real promise. Like, I know some. I know the NFL tends to hate Brock Purdy because he's a newbie trying to be like a young Tom Brady and trying to act like he's Tom Brady. But if I'm being honest, Brock Purdy is a Tom Brady. He's just a younger version of Tom Brady. That's all he is. Like, I'm pretty sure if you look it up back then, people were giving the same shit to Tom Brady back then, way back then, whenever. Like, come on. Tom Brady started in, like, Tom Brady. Let's look at Tom Brady's career to compare it to Park Purdy's career. Like this guy's like 46 years old, and he started when he was like, what, 21, 25? He started in junior varsity team. Yeah, he started in varsity team, so as a backup quarterback. And <laughs> he started his voice is This guy was young when he started. He was drafted straight out of high school. Like in 2000. Straight out of high school. Newbie. Same thing's happening with Bob Purdy. Coming legit. Maybe not straight out of high school, but straight out of college. Like this guy. Like, come on. So this guy's like what? It's Twenty four minutes. Man, I've got this age. Yeah, but I kid you not. Forty Niners, like Bob Purdy to me. I know many people say Mahomes is kind of like Bob Purdy, but nah, but Mahomes just got up, but he's got to stick up his ass. Yeah, sorry, Chief fans. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that, but he's got an ego. He ain't no Mahomes. He ain't no Tom Brady. He ain't no Tom Brady. He just, they just so happened to win four games back to back in a couple of, in the last recent years. Like, that's it. They're not, they're not Tom. Like, they are not, he's nothing like Tom Brady. Mahomes is nothing like Tom Brady. Not even close. Like, Tom Brady won eight Super Bowls. He won eight fucking Super Bowls. No one can be like Tom Brady. Except for this one guy named Brock Purdy. Because Brock Purdy, to me, isn't as Tom Brady. 
Like, let's be real. If you look up back then news reports of Tom Brady, I bet you do a lot. I know I wasn't born back. Well, I was probably too young. I was in college, so and I was too really. Dude, I'm like a 40 year old man, so it's Pedro. I'm 40 year old man. I'm. Yeah. Football. Yeah. Never. I always watched it, but yeah, they never let me on the team because I had a bad sprain on my ankle, bad leg. So they couldn't let me on the team, sadly. But what got me on the team, but not the team. I mean, I only played, the only sport I ever played was like soccer. That's about it. In 2000, soccer. Yeah, or football. But yeah, this team, the team that got me, 49ers are going to make it to the Super Bowl this year. That's all I'm saying. They're going to take the number one seed again, take those three games. Gonna be all home games. Win all those well, two home games and get that third Super Bowl. Hopefully, I'm hoping that they play it in San Francisco Stadium. Like that'll make perfect sense. That'll be the perfect setup, perfect everything. Like if they do it in San Francisco Stadium, like that's gotta be where that Super Bowl is. I don't know where the Nets. I don't think they have announced when the Nets Super Bowl be held at but it's got to be in san francisco stadium it's got to be in san francisco stadium or somewhere nearby we're not in las vegas but san francisco stadium because i because they just made a stop by nevada so they might go over i don't know levi stadium seems like the perfect place for super bowl it seems like the best place for super bowl like come on Levi Stadium. It just means magic. Someday I might want to go to Levi Stadium, even if I just go on a one day trip on a plane, just go to Levi Stadium. Just a one day trip on a plane, just go to Levi Stadium. I would want, I would love to do that. Just go on a one day trip to Levi Stadium just to win that first. Just to see that first game. Yeah. That'd be that'd be the day. Just go to one trip to Levi Stadium. Just for one day. Just to see my team win. Yeah, that would be the dream. But yeah. I think the 49ers are gonna make it to the Super Bowl this year. Even though it's a little bit too early to be talking about the Super Bowls, but I don't know. I think it's already set in stone. But even though it's early to be talking about Super Bowl, it's already set in stone with that lineup. Like, I know I didn't discuss much of the lineup. I was just basically just looking at it and just sort of awe and doing my reactions. But the schedule, yeah. The schedule says something else because I already know what they're going to do. They're just going to run that defense that those games when the other team's got the ball. All they got to do is run that defense. Keep that defense up. And then keep on scoring. Just not stop on that offense when you got the ball. And keep that defense up. That's all you got to do. Because that's what they've been doing to win these games. It's nothing to do with the offense. I kid you not. Don't. It's nothing to do with the offense. It's that fucking defense. Yeah, that defense is killer. Like, come on. That defense is murder. Any 49ers fan will tell you that defense from last year is fucking killer. It is killer. It is brutally. It is murder. It is killer. Like, that Fucking defense. They're winning. They I feel like this is a 
like 2024 to 25, 2024 to 2025 season. This is the year. This is the motherfucking year. If they don't win the Super Bowl, if they don't win the Super Bowl, you guys got to do something. You got to figure out a game plan or something because you still got Brock Purdy. You got to win a Super Bowl. You at least got to go to another Super Bowl and win it. Brock Purdy. Like, I know you messed the chance up because you got the Chiefs. I know why they, to be honest, I know why they lost because I didn't really think they were going to win against the Chiefs or the Ravens. Anyway. anyway, I was hoping they would get the Bills. But nope, Bills got out by the Chiefs in home stadium. But yeah, I'm hoping that's payoff season. Uh, I'm hoping you get the Ravens or the Bills. Mostly the Bills. I'm hoping the Chiefs get kicked out in conference, in the conference game, not the wild card week, but maybe the conference game. And let's hope the Chiefs don't get the number one seed. Otherwise, ooh boy. If the Chiefs get the number one seed, yeah, there's no way we're going to win. The only way we're going to win is if the Chiefs, if we get the number one seed again with the Chiefs, if, like, if it's a num- if both the number one seeds and we are, well, to be honest, I would prefer the Ravens being the number one seed, to be honest, because fun story, fun story of me and Akno, uh, well, here's a fun story from Akno. Akno told me one time, and it kind of made me wonder, it kind of made me feel bad for the kid. Like, he remembers it very well. Like, he said he was watching the game. He was rooting for the 49ers because he just became a 49ers fan that year, like in 2012. And he was rooting for the 49ers 2013 season. And guess what happened? Those last five fucking minutes. Oh my God. Those last five fucking minutes cost us that game. Because... Someone doing an interception and cost us a motherfucking game. Like Joe Montana gave away the ball and cost us the motherfucking game. I know I love, like, don't get me wrong, I don't mind Joe Montana, but. I don't know. I can never forgive him for costing us the motherfucking game that last Super Bowl. Like, he cost us the game. Like, that last, the 2013 Super Bowl or 2014 or whatever year it was, can't remember. And I'm going to can't remember for life him what year it was, but that Super Bowl, he, we got hammered we were so close so close we were down by fucking field goal it's not even field goal we were down by fucking one one that was the closest we've ever gotten to winning a motherfucking Super Bowl in recent years in the 2000s that is the closest we have ever gotten to winning a motherfucking Super Bowl. But you know what? I ain't tripping. Because you know what? We're going to win the next Super We're going to make it. We're going to go off strong this season. And we are going all the way. All the way. Like... There's no way we're losing this. Like, to be honest, 49ers just just wind your defense to up when the other people have the ball. Just keep on winding that defense. Don't make a pass. Don't let them get past midfield. And you guys will be good. Don't let them get past midfield. You guys are good. Yeah. If you guys keep them past. Don't let him pass midfield. That's going to like 
That's got to make a field goal. You can shoot like a 50 yard field goal. But yeah, I'm telling you, we are winning this fucking year. We are making this Super Bowl again. And we're going to win. We are going to win. We are going to win. And we're going to win hard. We are winning this year. Like, this is our year. Now, I know most people said last year, but to be honest, I was hoping last year was our year, but I don't know. And to be honest, looking at that lineup, and that looking at that lineup, those players and that schedule, yeah, we're winning. We are going all the way, all the motherfucking way, all the motherfucking way. All the motherfucking way. Yeah, but for that is you gotta do it this year. You gotta do it with Park Party is so on there. If you get Park Party to win a Super Bowl for you guys, you definitely get him for another couple of years. Whatever Park Party decides to give the 49ers, 49ers will gladly accept it. Like they will gladly accept it if Park Party wins a Super Bowl for them. Like that's pretty much what they're gonna do. Bob Purdy is gonna win you guys in that Super Bowl. Like that guy is magic. I wouldn't, but I wouldn't give him the MVP. Well, yeah, I probably would, because those throws he makes, throwing it to his wide receivers, and the way he handles the team, like he's team captain. So, yeah, the way he leads is. Hmm. Yeah, the way he tosses his team members, how he tosses that offense. Yeah. I think they're going all the way. They're going all the way. Like, they just need to get that one number one seed and just concentrate on those tough games. Yeah, but I think they're going to. They're going to be fine. They're going to make it all the way. I hope we don't get that fourth game because, to be honest, we struggled on that fourth. The past championships that we've lost is mostly because we had a, fourth, a third game. We don't want that third game in the playoffs, in the regular playoff season. We want that fourth game. We want, we want three games. We don't want that fourth game. We just want three games the entire season. Entire playoff season. That's all we want. That's all we want. It's three playoff seasons, number one seed. And yeah. Bob Purdy, please. If you're listening, Bob Purdy, I know you probably aren't. I'm pretty sure the NFL never listens to my videos, but Bob Purdy, win that motherfucking Super Bowl. I, we believe in you. Fan all the way from Chicago believes in you. Well, I'm actually not from Chicago. I'm from Nevada, but I'm from I'm from Nevada. I'm just visiting and I'm just visiting and Chopper. That's part that my people fits in right now. Yeah, ran out of gas and the engine's broke, so they gotta fix it. But yeah. We are going to win this year. And I'm going to be so happy. I am going to be so fucking 
happy when we win that Super Bowl. And if we do make it to another Super Bowl, like, please have it be in Levi Stadium. Have it be there. Because, man, that will be, that will be perfect. Like, if we win it in Levi Stadium, yeah. We're going to, yeah. But with that said, this is Pedro. Game to the chopper. Well, trying to wait on the chopper to be fits. And I'm heading out. Bye bye. Deuce.